Welcome back to AI Business TV. I'm Ben Wadecki and I'm really honored to be joined by Alok from Supermicro. How's it going? Pretty good. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Supermicro. Okay, yeah, my name is Alok Shrastav and I'm Senior Solutions Manager at Supermicro. And um, uh, at Supermicro, we have one of the largest AI infrastructure building blocks available in the industry. And we work with um, uh, different verticals, you name it, uh, from enterprises to island natural gas, and manufacturing. So you're here to talk to me <laughs> today about Industry 4.0, one of the, the hot button issues right now. Talk to us a little bit about how manufacturing, in your view, has been impacted by, by AI technology and, and how Supermicro fits into that space. Oh yeah, very good question. So what is happening right now, um, I think you, we can say that uh, the fourth industrial revolution is all set to take off now. And uh, this time it is going to be, you know, multiple folds um, uh, disruption in this industry. So what I mean by that, you know, uh, in general, we say that, okay, it's uh, one fold, two fold, three fold, but it is, it is at a humongous pace. That's why, you know, it falls in category of revolution, not uh, just, you know, a significant regular improvement in the industry. And this is happening this time because of AI. And uh, AI is going to play a very, very important role in this. And for AI, as you know, the most important, you know, the key factor is uh, lots and lots of digital data. So, you know, the, the use of uh, the sensor, sensor, you know, uh, sponsored data that is available, right? And uh, to process that data and convert that data into meaningful insights, that's what, you know, is the key mm -hmm. that is driving this industry, uh, industrial revolution 4.0. And do you feel that the pandemic has kind of further exacerbated and accelerated Industry 4.0 changes and transformations? Yeah, yeah, sure. So uh, we, we, you know, as I said, you know, by and large, all these industries, you know, most of them, they are already using some sort of automation. But this time it is going to be significantly, you know, at a higher level. And uh, because of availability of lots and lots of data and processing and converting that into information. So now it is going to this level that, okay, you know, um, you, whatever data you have, so it is processed almost at a real time. So when I say almost real time, so it is, con it, it is sort of, we, uh, in industry, they call it CICD, that is continuous integration and continuous development. So it is not that, okay, you collect data, process it, and then apply it. So it, it keeps happening. So for that, these type of things, you know, when you do these type of things, you need lots and lots of processing power. And that's where Supermicro comes into picture because we have, you know, the, the building blocks ranging from edge to cloud. And in this type of industrial environment, what we are talking about, Industry 4.0, so you are talking about edge computing because there's lots and lots of digital data that will be processed at edge, right? And, um, um, and uh, what you can do, you can create a digital replica of uh, the, the industry that is going to be the future of it. So you touched on that there, and, and some of our audience may refer to it as digital twins, of course. They're huge right now. I've seen a couple of things in the medical space, uh, a lot in real estate as well, but obviously in the industrial space. Uh, can you elaborate a bit about what you're seeing there? Oh, yeah, yeah. So for uh, digital twin, you know, what you can do, whatever your factory floor is, as I said, you know, automation is there. So that is one stage that is gone. Now it is going to next level. Mm. Next level is that whatever you have on your digital floor, you can create a replica by using simulation, yeah, right? So you have that digital replica of your physical floor. And uh, by that, the biggest advantage is that it is exactly in sync with your factory floor. So whatever changes you want to do on your factory floor, you can first you know, test it on the digital replica. So that's one part of it. And just to give you an example, that uh, if uh, the factory floor is using robots, right? So you can, you can train your robot in the, digi uh, in the digital world and once you are okay with the, uh, the performance or whatever you are expecting out of that robot that is doing exactly accord according to your needs, you can download that piece of software from that robot in the, on the digital floor and bring it to the real factory floor. So there is very less, lit, uh, you know, less to little learning curve and that's how you know, it is going to impact 
the the quality and the performance on the factory floor. This is also going to improve the risk as well. We we touched on this, you know, privately that there are things that like during the pandemic, for example, you don't have to physically go to your factory to inspect. And I think that's, you know, health wise, that's incredible. But there are things that are platforms that allow you to do that and you make use the digital twin and access it remotely. Um, one of the ones that comes to mind off the top of my head is NVIDIA's Omniverse. Um, talk to us a bit about kind of the collaborative side of things. Oh, yeah, perfect. So for for Omniverse, Metaverse, for these type of application, what you, as I said, you know, you need lots and lots of uh, uh, specialized or very specific. Um, so all these things are software powered, of course, but at the same time, they are hardware accelerated. Mm -hmm. So for all this hardware accelerated part, you know, Supermicro at, at Supermicro, we have the, the solutions that are perfect fit for that. And as you said, for Omniverse, we have, you know, uh, perfect solution that is especially tailored for these type of applications. And, and that makes it so much easier for the vendors out there to go and inspect their work without having to yeah, potentially yeah, go on course, the package floor. Course, that's, yeah, yeah. Is that, would you say that's the kind of the next evolution of, I know industry 4.0 is that, but how integral is it in that evolutionary state for the factory, would you say that is? To be able to go and remotely inspect uh, and, and, and work? So uh, uh, just to you know, put things in perspective, some, some factories, they are already working on this concept and they already implemented it. Mm -hmm. But um, this is a little bit in early stage for all others to follow. But um, this is the direction where these things are moving. And pretty soon you will see that this will become sort of a, a very common thing mm -hmm. that people have the digital replica and you know, they can do multiple things. In short, whatever you want to do on the factory floor, you can do it on the digital replica. You can see the impact without really impacting your bottom line or whatever is happening on the factory floor. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I've been to factories where it's, it's you know, having to potentially risk it's hot. You don't have to go if it's really, really hot. And I think that's yeah. a, a good thing. So the interesting thing about this, in my view, is that the technology and the systems that you've helped develop here are really kind of connecting that, that the dots yeah. when it comes from edge to cloud, right? Yeah. I think that's... That's, that's basically what you guys are, are working on here, right? Yeah, this is exactly what we are doing. So we have a solutions, as I said, you know, from edge to cloud. So we are, in, in a nutshell, you can say that uh, Supermicro is a technology enabler from edge to cloud. And since these technologies, you know, for these technologies, you need very, very specific, you know, um, uh, type of uh, requirements on the infrastructure side. And that, that's where Supermicro comes in picture. And we have the entire uh, you know, portfolio that can, you can use Supermicro, uh, these AI building blocks from edge to cloud. So we have all of them. And, and finally, Alok, on that, it's how you know, you're showcasing those solutions here at the AI Summit London in front with alongside some of the biggest technology vendors in AI. How important is it for you guys to showcase your technology in front of some really innovative and insightful individuals? Oh, yeah, that is that is very important because, you know, I was surprised because some, some people, they visited us. And when we were talking to them, we told them that, okay, we do have solutions, say, for example, for Edge also. Mm -hmm. And for uh, the highest level of, uh, you know, the training and all this stuff. And our, our systems are sort of, you know, um, uh, you can say that the top in line, whatever the, the industry can expect, those type of, of performance levels that is available with on our solutions. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad people, you know, learned a lot from us. And at the same time, we learned from them that what exactly they're looking for. And we are looking forward to implement that also in our solution portfolio. Well, hopefully this time next year, we can do a factory site visit virtually without sure, having to be sure. here. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah. So my goal will be that, okay, you know, if we can do it, I can just, you know, show you Super Micro's factory floor sitting from here, exactly what is happening there right now. Well, let's get it in the diary. Yeah. Alok, thank you for your time. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thanks thank for you. having me.